Hello guys and welcome to my how-to video on a chain and chain ring change on this new Cruise Mega. Let me tell you a story. It is a 1x12 SRAM with a dub bottom bracket and we're going to be putting on this Unite Co chain ring and this SRAM GX chain. Right, first of all I need to remove the chain guard and take the chain off. To remove the front face of the chain guard we're just going to undo this little bolt here. Undo that, make that over like that, do it back up where you can just take it off completely. And then we're going to find the split link for the chain, which is just there. Put these little crimpers in, squeeze it together, and it pops apart, just like that. Pull the chain out. And keep that side for afterwards. Because this is a SRAM chain set and uh, crank arms they have this little tensioning like washer kind of screw here um, and it's got a little two mil bolt on there so what you have to do you have to undo that and then back it right back to the crank arm just go put the in there undo that just very slightly doesn't take much and then unscrew it loosen it right off all the way the back of the crank arm. It doesn't take a lot and then that relieves the tension in the bottom bracket to take it off. Next step is to undo this bolt here. It's an 8mm Allen key. Don't take off this front washer here. It can stay in. Um, I've seen a lot of people taking off that front washer, taking out that Allen key and wondering why they can't pull their um, drive side off. Um, basically this little washer on here um, when you undo your allen key from inside, it pulls it away from your bottom bracket. Right guys, it can be quite tight if you've never done it before. So put it in there. And if you can't get it off, if it's too tight, put the bike on the floor, get someone to help you and just give a really good wrench. Um, I actually pre-loosen this one just because I know they can be very tight. So um, I may make it look a bit easy. Um, maybe not and make sure you do it the right way around and just give it a good tug and there you go it comes right off and then you've got to go all the way until it comes off and it will come off there we go and that is it nice and easy right once you've taken your drive side off guys there is a plastic washer on the other side Keep that, do not lose it, you do need to put it back on. And then you want to get yourself a rubber mallet um, and just give that a slight tap, holding the other side while you're doing it. And it pulls straight through, just like that. And we are ready to take the chainring off. So this is the back of the chainring. There's the front, there's the back. You got three bolts here, which is the T25, which is like a little star. Allen key. We just need to take them off. So just make sure that the Allen key can locate into the bolts correctly because there could be some dirt inside there. So just pick out all the dirt. Just make sure we can get in there so you don't round them off. Just give them a turn. Make sure they come off. All loosened off initially. And then we just undo them like so. Don't lose these bolts. So you'll need to put them back on for your new chain ring. They can be a little bit tight sometimes guys, they might have seized in. So just be patient if they are. If you struggle, take it to your nearest bike shop. And there you go, that should just lift off like so. You can either keep that for memories or chuck it in the bin. Uh, but we do need this. We're going to clean this up first. Just give it a wipe. 
get all the rubbish out of the gaps in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's always nice to have a nice clean part to put your new part on. Here's the new chainring from Unite Co. Brilliant part, really well made, solid piece. And it's just going to slot in, you locate the bolts, slot it in just like that. There you go, hold it in place. A little bit of grease on the end of your bolts, put them in there so they don't seize up for next time. Lightly tighten them until you put all three in. Nip them up hand tight guys, you don't need to do many more than that. Just make sure they're nice and firm in there, you don't want to come loose. Just do a final check around each bolt to make sure you're happy with the tension. Don't be Mr. Strongman doing this because you will damage it. There we go, wipe all the excess grease off. And that is ready to go back on. Doesn't that look sick? Before we put it back in, we're just going to look at the through axle, give it a wipe off, unscrew this washer that we backed off before. We're going to put a bit of grease on that so it makes it nice and easy. And unscrew and then just slide it off there. Give that a wipe. Put a bit of grease on there, just around by that thread. Not too much, just dab it on there and run it around with your finger. Just give it a little washer a clean off and stick that back on. Screw it all the way to the crank arm and that goes on much easier. And then we'll stick it back on the bike. We want to put a bit of grease around here as well, guys, actually. Just put it on the end here where your bearings are going to sit, and on the end there, on there, and inside the thread of this side here. Same on there. Bit of grease inside here. Goes a long way. Before we put it all back together, guys, just give the bottom bracket a kit clean out, a bit of a wipe. Check the bearings, make sure they're nice and smooth. They're free rolling, you don't need to replace them either. They do need to replace, just find a video or I can make another video once I need to replace mine. Good clean up there. There we go, put it in here, all greased up. Slide it in, give it a bang and that will locate itself right there. Now we'll go around to the other side. You want to get this washer, put that back on. Don't forget that. There is a certain way it needs to go on. There's like a little curve on the edge of it. Make sure that that bit goes to the bearing. That pushes in there. I'm going to put this back on now. 8mm hex. Put it obviously opposite to the crank on the other side. Just push it against there. It's not going to slide on until you start to screw this in here. It's probably a bit of a two man job, but it's nice and easy on your own. If you can't do it on your own, obviously get someone else to help you. Nice and tight. That's actually meant to be to 50 newton meters. I don't have a torque wrench that goes to 50 newton meters so I'm just going to do it by hand. Really you should be using a torque wrench but just give it a good pull and that's not going anywhere. Alright back around to this side guys with this little tension washer. You just want to tighten that to the bottom bracket finger tight, no more than that, and then nip the 2mm allen key up. Just find the end there, just give it a turn until it comes tight. Just make sure it's nice and firm in its place. 
and get the two mil allen key find the bolt and just nip it up don't do this too tight because that washer is plastic so you can easily thread them threads inside that washer you don't want to be doing that right guys here i got my like new chain and my old chain i've lined them up right next to each other link for link as you can see the new chain is longer than the old one it's a bit of a shadow there so it lights above me so you want to shorten that chain to the exact same length as your old chain so it fits on there nicely i've got my chain to linker here what i need to do is find the link that i need to take out line it up in there and then just start winding this in here and you'll hear a little crack like that and push the pin all the way through to the end so it comes out you don't need to keep that pin so don't worry if it falls out and falls on the floor somewhere you just pull that apart and there you go ready to go on the bike put the chain back on then guys um, just pull down your rear derailleur push in the lock so it stays down here thread it through the frame onto the chain ring force it on there there we go get it on them teeth get it sitting on them nice like that thread it through the derailleur so onto the cog through the back of the derailleur get the two split links one either side of the chain push it together like that so they click in pull it tight a little bit it won't lock in just yet because you want to get the chain the split link up to this side so you can pull a bit of tension on it and it'll click in I'm just going to release the derailleur get the split link around to this side here put your pedal up there give it a give it a whack and that locks it in place nicely and there we go one chain fitted just going to put the chain guard back together come around this side undo that bolt again swing it around push it together and tighten it back up there we go that is one chain ring and chain fitted to a SRAM 12 speed Newt proof mega. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was a helpful video. It's my first one, so it was okay, I hope. <laughs> anyway, see you soon. Keep it pinned.